what's up everybody? Chris here with a protocase designer tip. And today I'm gonna to show you how to create and lock cutouts in protocase designer six. Protocase Designer is our free CAD software that allows you to easily design custom enclosures, brackets, and panels that are ready for manufacturing. With Protocase Designer, you start with a template and modify it to your specifications so you can create exactly what you need. You can quote your design anytime you'd like and then order it when you're ready, in whatever quantity that you require. Protocase Designer is free to download and use, so be sure to head on over to protocasedesigner.com and download it in the format of your choice because it's going to help you in the walkthrough of today's video. So today we're going to go back to the basics. I'm going to show you how to create cutouts and then how to lock them on your design. So let's walk through that now. So to start my design, I'm going to select a U-shape enclosure template and change the color and the dimensions. So now that I've got the initial design created, I need to customize it with cutouts, right? So let's start with putting cutouts on the front face. So I'm going to click Edit Face and select this side of the enclosure. So now I'm in the face editor. To make your cutouts easier to place, I recommend turning on the grid and enabling snap so that cutouts and other objects snap to the nearest grid line. To do this, you need to click the View tab and make sure Show and Snap are both checked. You can also click on the size icon to customize the size of your grid. It's not necessary to use the grid, but it will ensure that cutouts are placed exactly where you need them. Going back into the Design tab at the top of the screen, you can see the different modes that you can be in. There's Cutout, Graphic, Masking, Reference, and Exclusion. By default, you're going to be in the Cutout mode, which is what we're focusing on today. In the draw section, you can see the different basic cutout options available. You have circle, ellipse, rectangle, path, line, and arc. So first, I'll place a square cutout with the grid turned on. This is super easy. Just select the rectangle and click on the face and then drag it out to create the square shape and the dimensions that I need. Once the square cutout shape is created and selected, I can use the properties menu on the right hand side to change the dimensions or the origins if I want to change its placement. I'll do the same and make a circle cutout by clicking the circle button beside the rectangle in the draw menu. Same as with the square cutout, I can modify dimensions and rotation using the numbers on the side of the screen in the properties menu. But what happens if my cutout is not a traditional shape like a circle, rectangle, ellipse, or square? Well, you can use the path tool to create a unique shape. Once I've selected path, each click of my mouse will create a point on the path. So to complete my cutout and fill it in, I just need to place my final point right back to where I started. Now for part two, what if after placing these cutouts on my design, I start working on another part of my design for the components and I don't want to accidentally move the cutouts that I just placed? Well, I can lock the selected objects like cutouts to prevent the frustration action of moving them around without realizing it. Nobody wants that. So, to lock a cutout, you must have it selected, then head over to the Properties menu. Once you click on the Locked checkbox, your cutout will now not move unless you unlock it by deselecting the checkbox. Locking can be really useful for when you've confirmed aspects of your design, but you're still figuring out the other parts. You have to lock each object individually unless you group them together. So to group objects together, you must select the objects at the same time. One way to do this is dragging your mouse around the objects that you want to group. Then with the group selected, you can right click your mouse and then select group from the menu. With your cutouts grouped, you can now lock the group of them using the lock checkbox in the properties menu. So don't forget, with Protocase Designer, you can instantly quote your design whenever you want. When you're ready to order, you can order your design by selecting purchase from the quote menu. So thanks for watching this week's Protocase Designer tip. Do you have a topic that you want us to cover or a tool in Protocase Designer that you want us to demonstrate and focus on? Let us know in the comments below and we'll be sure to put a video up for you. 
So download Protocase Designer 6 for free at protocasedesigner.com. And if you're designing custom enclosures, panels, or brackets, there really is no easier tool out there. Trust me on that one. So with that being said, see you next time.